Okay, good morning class. Um, I said yesterday that I needed to show you still how to find the mathematical model to your position time graph. So I need to show that to you today. So I pulled up a video. You don't have a video like this. You went down a ramp, but I have a video that I just want you to show that shows a car that's speeding up, kind of like yours is speeding up down the ramp. I didn't have any cars like this. That's why we had to do it on the ramp. Anyway, um, so you've got a graph that kind of looks like this and you've also got your velocity time graph that kind of looks something like this and then you printed out a graph after you found the linear print fit for the thing so that's already done um i'm going to go back to that position time graph because i haven't shown you how to find the equation for it so you need to do this and have it ready for tomorrow so you can print it out so you need to go to analyze and Clearly, this is not a linear line. It kind of curves. So I'm going to go to Curve Fit. And you'll see all these different buttons here. I'm going to hit Try Fit. And you can see that line doesn't fit those data points very well. And further, do you see the correlation here is 0.945? We need something that's 0.99 or better. Okay. And really, I want to stop as soon as I get the first one. So I'm going to go linear and try that one. Try Fit. And it's 0.974. That's not very good. I'm going to go to this next one called quadratic. Hit that one. Hit try fit. Oh, and there I get 0.99922. So that's good. That's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to use. Soon, as soon as I get 0.99 or better, that's what I'm going to use. I don't want to try any further. Okay, so the first one you get to. And then I hit OK. And there's the equation. And so when I get the class on... Wednesday, I need to print this out and then I'll be ready to go. Other things, though, I want to talk about is um, in, in this thing here, we said that the car was speeding up. Another word for speeding up is called acceleration. And so this car is actually accelerating. When we did the, um, the huffer peck on the floor, it was spacing of the dots was equal and so we had a constant velocity but when i look at the velocity time graph for this one you'll see the velocity is not constant it's getting faster and faster and faster so there's a slope to it so the definition of acceleration is the slope of the velocity time graph so there's a change in velocity and a change in time and that's called acceleration in fact i want to show you the acceleration time graph and I know it looks kind of crazy here, but all these points are kind of bouncing around right in this region here. And so that's telling us that the acceleration of the car that you're looking at, on mine anyway, is around eh, about 0.3 or so. In fact, if I were to pick these points right here and go up to analyze and do statistics, I'd find that the average is around 0.34. So it's a nice constant not velocity but constant acceleration another way i could say it is i'm going to play the movie again is i could say that the movie uh, the car is constantly accelerating okay so um tomorrow i am going to give you a little bit of time and i'm also going to be giving you this response sheet you're going to write down your purpose and on one side you'll have your position time graph the position um, was the dependent variable and the time was the independent variable. You're going to sketch the graph and you'll write your mathematical model. That mathematical model again is right. Oops, I didn't put it in there. I thought I did. Let me do that again. Analyze, curve fit. Yeah, I did. I don't know why it's not there. There it is. So uh, you're going to put that mathematical model on your paper. And then um, for the other side over here, this is the velocity time graph. So the velocity is the dependent. The independent is time. And you're going to sketch what your graph looked like and put the mathematical model. And the mathematical model for this one is, I know I did that. I don't know why it's not showing. Analyze linear fit. Right there is the mathematical model. So you'll put that on your, your paper. And then there's a few questions here that's related. On the back side, it wants you to, uh, you're supposed to print out both of these graphs. 
you're supposed to cut them out and print them out here, but make sure you also answer this part. It says, sketch what the graph would have looked like if the ramp were steeper. Same thing for this one. So on your graph, you're actually going to sketch something else of when the graph was steeper. Okay, that's it. So see you tomorrow.